Bonjour or hello, this is DJ Vanis and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about what's going on in the world right now. I know we're living in a very difficult time. It's filled with worry, anxiety, and fear about the road ahead. And I wanted to take a few moments to share some ideas that hopefully will provide you with some clarity, some inspiration, and some strength during a time that we need it the most, myself included. Uh, during this crisis, as in all crisis moments that have happened in human history before, it tends to bring out the best and worst in humanity, and we've seen both. We've seen the worst in the form of profiteering, hoarding, or taking advantage of other people during a fearful time. But we've also seen the best, where people are exercising courage, kindness, and compassion, and coming up with some very creative solutions during a tough moment in human history. The point is, we get to choose who we want to be and how we want to be during this difficult time. And I ask you to remember your own personal values, the things that you hold dear, and act on them. If we, that has ever been important, now is the time to exercise our own personal values in action. A warrior's toughest battlefield, more often than not, is within our own minds, and our toughest opponent, more often than not, is dealing with our own fear and keeping it in perspective and not letting it blow up out of proportion. And hopefully we can draw some inspiration from our past warriors. Our warriors who fought for, for instance, our tribal communities uh, dealt at, at, with some incredible deprivations. They fought against incredible odds with scarce resources and they dealt with fear, but they found a way through it. They didn't let fear stop them. They acted in the face of it. And that's called courage. And I also want you to remember that a warrior's best asset is not their mind, it's not their martial or physical strength. A warrior's best asset is their warrior spirit, which is a spirit that says, I will find a way forward and I will not quit ever. And we have a moment to adopt that spirit into what we do daily. And when we adopt that type of spirit, we are predetermining how this experience is gonna go for us and our families. One of the other struggles we deal with is getting away from clinging to what used to be. For a time, life will not be normal. We're not gonna be able to do our favorite activities or hang out at least in person with our favorite people or go to our favorite places or get our favorite food or get our favorite brand of toilet paper. Uh, for a time, we're gonna to have to adjust to lowered expectations. And may, that may not be the best case for everybody, but or, in, or convenient for everybody. But I want you to remember this. If you wake up alive this morning, you are blessed. Everything else is gravy. So keep that in mind as, as we stumble forward uh, during the course of this uh, adverse time. We've all experienced uh, that we get what we focus on. And from my book, The Tiny Warrior, I wanted to share a really quick story. One of the main characters, the chief, is talking to one of the other main characters, Cricket, and telling him a story. And this story goes like this. In one hand, I have a tiny invisible spirit of a dog. He is vicious, cruel, and mean. In the other hand, I have another tiny spirit of a dog. This one is loyal, friendly, and kind. And every day that I wake up, the two tiny spirits fight with each other. And Cricket was hanging on Chief's every word and he asked a question, which one wins? And the chief answered, whichever one I feed that day. We get what we focus on. And now it's more important than ever to stay focused on hope, to stay focused on positivity, staying optimistic and continuing to answer the question, what's good about this? What's good about being in quarantine? What's good about uh, limiting our, our, our travel, our access to outside uh, resources outside of our house or our community. We have to answer these questions because when we keep answering what's good about this, we keep our mindset in a positive frame. Uh, we keep our mindset in a solution-oriented dynamic. And we really, really need that during this moment in time. And the final thing that I want to share is uh, I'm proud that I have served our nation's healthcare workers for over two and a half decades. Uh, to work with them in our, both nationally and in our tribal communities to help them improve their service, their self-care, and their leadership. 
And I got to tell you, I have been in awe with how big the, those people's hearts are, uh, the level of commitment they have uh, for their service and also the depth of care they have and that they exercise with the people that they take care of on a daily basis. One of my great heroes, Mr. Rogers said, in times of trouble, look for the helpers. And my gosh, these frontline healthcare workers are exercising their warrior spirit in action. They are showing courage and kindness in equal measure every day. And it's something that I hope that we're all inspired by. Uh, it's an example that we can all follow uh, during this difficult time. And I hope that we do because that is, they are showing us the right way to go through this experience. So with that, I just wanna say, I wish all of you health and wellness, happiness, take care of yourself, take care of your families, uh, keep walking this path one step at a time and we will get through this. This too shall pass. So in the meantime, stay strong on your warrior path and I'll look forward to talking with you soon. Miigwech.